Welcome back. We're joined now by members of the University of Kentucky's club hockey team. We have Gabe D'Amico and Tim Pergram. Some exciting news. You guys have the opportunity to go to nationals in Boston, but you need Big Blue Nation's help because... Your club hockey team is completely self-funded. You don't get help from the university. Last I checked, your GoFundMe has $30,000, but you need $80,000. Where are we now? Still at 30? I think we're about 31,000. We're getting close to 31,000 now. Progress. And what again does that cover? That will cover our flights. Mm -hmm. uh, that will cover our food, our hotel, ice time for practice, um, water, everything that you can think of that covers. We're gonna be up there for seven days. So it's a lot of expense. Uh, we just got back from Washington, D.C. on a nine-hour bus ride to go to Boston. It's about an 18, so it's just too much travel time for the boys for them to be productive. Our goal is mm -hmm. to win the national championship. Yes, it's your first time in the tournament, right? It's a tournament? Tournament, yeah. 15 years. In 15 years. You had one of the best seasons in a really long time. Oh, yeah. What's the, what, what was one of your favorite memories, one of your favorite highlights of this year? Um, obviously, playing Louisville is always a fun mm -hmm. weekend. Winning the Bourbon Barrel, that was a good time. But I think, um, I think my favorite memory was probably playing UNC that last game, winning 2-1 and just punching the ticket to Nationals. It was awesome. Well, you definitely need all the energy you can get. You do on a plane instead of being cooped up in that bus. You'll be sore mm -hmm. before you know, all those big games. You have both told me you've been to Boston before. I love Boston, in case you don't know. What are you most looking forward to if you reach that 80K and you're able to go? Hmm, that's a tough one. I mean, I, I went to Boston this summer. It was a lot of fun. So I guess I'm just looking forward to uh, hearing all the accents again. <laughs> hearing it's all the awesome accents. Time, yeah. What about you, Coach? Mine oh, would be, you don't be called Coach TP. TP. Yes. Mine would be just the memories with the boys mm -hmm. uh, because these are lifelong memories. Uh, this is stuff they're going to take with them for the rest of their lives. To make the Nationals is a huge accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And this will just help them do much better in life, be much more successful. Mm -hmm. So just the memories. You know, I'm an older guy, so these kids keep me young. I volunteer to do this. We're all volunteers, so we just love it. It's just the experiences to watch them grow from young men, from boys to young men, is that's what it's all about for You're me. making me emotional hearing that potential right there. What's the best way to get in contact with you guys if people want to donate? Uh, that would be through our Instagram or our Twitter. Um, I know there's GoFundMe links there for both accounts. And it's, yeah, I think that's the best way to get in contact and best way to donate. All right, and what do we have here? Oh, this is just a little t-shirt for you to have. Aw, so hockey. sweet. I gotta be able to wear it and then we could like live stream or something or you could <laughs> FaceTime me so exactly. I could see you guys in Boston. Definitely awesome. guys, you saw the social media, as you saw the GoFundMe, help them get to Boston, go to their nationals, hopefully take home a big, big trophy. Thank mm -hmm. you guys for joining Thank us. Thank you very much. <laughs>